Well, those are all cards that I am uh, happy to own. But I think I'll put in the warning call, use the horns to make a species, and if I'm feeling particularly dangerous, use the cooperation. But if other players are greedy, I don't think I need the cooperation. Okay. That's um, a lot of potential pack hunting carnivores that will want to eat each other instead of me. And will have to eat each other at some point, so um, wanting to get in first on that action would be something. Uh, it's definitely not leading me to feel confident to put my cooperation out. Uh, I'm still willing to risk the card though, because if they are both that, at least one of them loses something as well. Only one of them is. It's probably the worst I could ask for here. Uh, he might take that out, but he'll probably take out... Oh, I can take out one of mine and that. Uh, definitely didn't want to put the cooperation in with that as a possibility. So if he doesn't attack this next, um, that's just bad play. You definitely want to take this out, because I just get this back for free. Okay, so these are really strong cards for eating a lot with. I definitely want to make well-defended species before I even uh, think about getting rid of them. Uh, as it is right now, I don't have any extra things to help bolster my defense, so I'm just going to leave it there so I'm not a good food source for him. Uh, the AI, unfortunately, probably not going to be that nice. Uh, I think I'm putting the scavenger because it's lower uh, than the carnivore. Like, I'm not going to use either of them. But yeah, there's absolutely no point in me doing anything with this card of hands. Uh, and it doesn't help me at all. So Snolo might use this opportunity just to make a bunch of species. There's heaps of food. We clearly haven't made uh, any carnivores. Uh, if we did, you know, he could kind of counter them a little bit. I don't think that modifying this carnivore makes that much sense compared to just making more species. You know you can eat this if you lose the other population. Oh, whatever, you lose the other population. Uh, into the horns, but still. Uh, the climbing is sort of okay. Two population on this, I think. It's just ridiculous compared to two species. He only gets to eat the climbing once, and then me. He doesn't have to eat it yet, but it doesn't really matter what order he does it in. Uh, it does change how much food is here, so slight difference based on which order he does it in. Uh, so if I'm going to play anything right now, I do absolutely need to be defended. And there are no defences to play. So I'm just going to keep building up this hand of cards, hopes that uh, some negatives come my way and that I can uh, pull a bunch of food out soon. Because right now, this is ridiculous. I'm aware I threw away two defensive cards at the start. That is the first round. Uh, I'm not really sure what's going to go on. I had to keep the cooperation and the foraging. It's cooperation and foraging. You have to start questioning if this carnivore is still worth keeping around. So he hasn't made it big enough to overcome the hard shell. This guy knows what's up and uh, he either just stays there, he can be eaten once, or maybe he's even got, you know, a nice uh, symbiosis warning call, and he gets to, you know, eat me, eat the horns twice. Apparently no symbiosis warning call. Okay, a replacement of the climbing with a hard shell. That works. Uh, so now he gets to attack me, he gets to attack the horns twice. Uh, which honestly is pretty good. Uh, next time I'm going last, I'll know if he's removed that carnivore. Uh, which might give me a chance to throw up my new species undefended. Not 
sure why he decided eating me was the most important thing. Given that it achieved literally nothing. And it kept extra food in the watering hole. Which for someone who doesn't need much of it doesn't seem like a smart choice. Hey look, a negative three! Also a warning call to go with this symbiosis. Uh, I think we've got something running here, and we're hoping that Mr. Snollo does not come out with an ambush. If he does, I'm fucked. Like, this is basically my last chance to start doing anything. Uh, I'm really hoping to screw his carnivore over, so I am going to not play the scavengers. I'm not going to play the scavengers, but the scavenger will not be played. So in this turn at least, uh, we're just going to go with this. Um, So this has now become big enough to eat this, and this. But not to eat this, uh, hopefully that's inedible. I know I'm inedible, um, like should be nice for the foraging there, but I'm sort of hoping for one more species out the front to collect this long neck onto. And right now I just want to eat, uh, eating four is okay, I put in a negative three. That's like a total of, oh cool, that's really good. Uh, that's really dumb. I had such high hopes for me, defended this so well, and then he... I don't have words for these situations. He just... He just fed this guy. Like, why? Really high hopes. Okay, so next round, still not the final round, thankfully, is where I look for alternate defences based on uh, what this guy does. If he removes the climbing uh, and I get climbings, I can use them. If he removes the pack hunting and I get hard shells, I can use those. Just something that's uh, not the warning call if he swaps out... If he swaps out anything. Yeah, this, this was stupid. Like, why even do this? Just, like, make this one bigger. You can see he's gonna eat things. This has got scavenging. Okay, so the fertile's really good. The climbing's kinda shit. The defensive herding on this could come in handy. Uh, I really don't need the pack hunting, not in this game. Uh, if he removes the climbing, the climbing is good. Uh, I probably don't need both long necks, even though I would sort of like them. Uh, if I can use the climbing to defend this uh, cooperation species, then I will. I'll use one of the long necks to make it. Uh, if I can't, I unfortunately can't defend this if he keeps the climbing, so I'll actually do this uh, if he removes the climbing. If I need more population, I will use a long neck for at least one of them. Uh, that'll get me to four. He removed the carnivore itself, which is making me uh, feel particularly bold. Uh, if he did a carnivore-carnivore replacement, I'm kind of screwed whether I put this up or not. Okay, that makes me less bold. So that's only got three population. I can do this. And I don't think it's climbing, so I'm still going to do this. Because I know this is not a climbing ambush carnivore. I don't know that this is not a climbing ambush carnivore, uh, but I'm reasonably happy with this setup. Uh, I eat almost all the food I need in one hit. Uh, I don't think anyone else is eating that fast. Havoc's not eating at all. Rick Havoc even, wow. So... I think I'm safe just to uh, let this stew like this for a moment. Uh, I really do need to hope that we can get on Starving Regularis. Uh, so that was expected, and I was very prepared for it. It can attack this hard shell, yes. It can't attack either of those because climbing, symbiosis. So it gets to attack this and this ones. Uh, I'm fine with that. There's far too much food available. Who played that?
Okay, uh, there was a three from Rick Havoc when he needed zero. Oh, wait, no, that's me. There was a five from Rick Havoc when he needed zero. Um, that's, that's disappointing. Uh, Regularis played a pretty reasonable four. This guy, the four, I guess, yeah, he, he eats kind of slow, so he sort of wants it available. I mean, I'm okay if there's a little bit left. It triggers my fertile one more time. I don't know why he attacked the horns first rather than that before it could eat. Maybe he did want to remove more food from here. By the way, uh, Rick's not doing very well. Snolo, I think, is doing fine. Regularis is currently winning. Uh, I've definitely got some power for a potential comeback. Because there's another warning call. A bunch of crazy shit. And uh, long necks cooperations galore. So three is definitely too many long necks. I'm happy to go like crazy on the warning calls and uh, hope it pays off. So I'll put a warning call up here. We'll put a warning call up here. We'll put in the cooperations. Uh, it's it's a bit ridiculous. Uh, we'll do this. I only need to eat two right now. I'm pretty happy with only needing to eat two. I put in a negative two. We'll work on more population next turn, which should be the final turn. So given how heavily I've been defending all game, I don't think anyone is really going to be prepared to try to attack me unless they're making a 5 population ambush carnivore. So that could be a carnivore again. Uh, it's not. I think that maybe the um, extra body size was a bit over the top. Uh, two, two's a bit higher than I really wanted. I don't know why this guy put in six when he only needed one and he was eating first. I don't know why he used intelligence when there was going to be plenty of food. Like, people do dumb shit in this game, and it really screws up other people's plans sometimes. So in this case, I could have just not put this long neck up, and I would have been fine to rip eight food out of this. I shouldn't have been. Uh, but I was. Okay, I don't think Snolo is a problem anymore. Rick was never a problem because he plays dumb shit. Uh, Regularis is actually doing really well. Um, if I drew an ambush with this pack hunting, oh, I would be so tempted just to kill this. Um, because that would make a lot of sense. No ambush, no killing. Uh, so we'll put in the lowest number I can, which is the negative one. We will definitely abuse the fact that I am going first this turn to um, have as much population as I want, uh, like this. Uh, so these all eat. I eat once and hope for the best. If people put in way too much again, it's, it's not good for me, um, but this is about the best I can do. I've shown exactly what my defenses are. If somebody wants to kill me, they can. I think if they do, Regularis will win. If um, I go unchecked, I think I might have caught up, but Regularis was getting a lot more food early than me. Which is why I think if I'm getting attacked, Regularis has got this. So yeah, right now, this and this, very vulnerable to ambush. Someone can eat all four of them very easily for a two body size, four population ambush carnivore. I haven't seen ambushes. I don't think I've seen any ambushes. So, uh, everyone could have them. These guys both have species that are already big enough to do that. Not sure why Snowlo keeps increasing body size, it doesn't help you with points. Uh, so that is a long neck, doesn't make much sense, just use it with the intelligence to get free food. 17 is a, like, a fuckload, but at least this guy's eating it pretty quickly for me. So 
So yeah, he doesn't need to use intelligence yet, he's fine. He should just eat as much as he can to stop anyone else eating it. He should just eat again, it's fine. And if it's still there on his turn, he should eat it again. No point using the intelligence, just take the food. So he had very little need for food. How high did he go that round? Let's see if I can find it. Uh, he's this one four. I don't think four was reasonable for him. He was getting four from one card and just needed three more to reach him. I mean, as much as it's clear that I can take a lot, I think four was too much. Because other people clearly were going a bit slower with it. Uh, all in all, still a clean victory in the end. Hey! A Cooperation Symbiosis Warning Caller. A fertile, defensive herd 